braised meat in a pot, cooked until it's off the bone. Digging into their meal with zest, Chinese like to call it the fragrant meat or the mutton of the earth. What it is is dog meat. According to some, it's the very best wintertime meal. The lean cuts and high protein keep you warm and generate more heat in the body. But the opportunity to dine on dog may soon change with a draft proposal of what would be the country's first animal welfare legislation. It would ban the consumption of dog and cat meat. But Fan Xiantao thinks this law is cultural imperialism. Some Chinese eat dog meat. Just like how some Westerners eat beef. What's the difference? If you can eat beef steak, then why can't you have dog steak? He and others in the dog meat industry ask why it's any different from raising sheep and cattle for slaughter. At his processing facility, ten thousand dogs are butchered every year. There's a clear demand. You can buy dog meat gift boxed. That's the way they're manufactured today. But this family-run business goes back 77 generations, when the general would prepare dog dishes for the founding emperor of the Han Dynasty. 77 generations. That's 2,000 years ago. In ancient culinary tradition, dog meat stewed in gravy or hung dry and cured into jerky. If the law passes, it will destroy all this. This entire region's economy depends on it. People will lose their jobs.